bit of a classic, keeping it easy. Today we've got steak and mash. Let's get on with it. Okay, so I've got a couple of sirloin steaks here. Nice bit of fat there. Nice little bit of marbling going on. Now what you want to do, the first thing you want to do, these have been taken out of my refrigerator, so I'm going to put some plastic wrap on them and let them sit out for about 15 to 20 minutes. You don't want to be frying a steak straight from the fridge. It doesn't work out so well. So let's get our mashed potatoes ready. So big pots, potatoes, you can see they're in there. Peeled them, give them a little wash. Nice and chunky, salted water. Gas is on, we're gonna bring that to a boil. We're gonna cook them maybe about 15 or 20 minutes, depending on the size that you've cut them. But what we want is them nice and nice and soft. When you put the knife in, pull your knife out. If the potato comes out, it's not ready. If the potato stays in, they're ready. Beautiful. Okay, let's have a look. So, we, so knife, get your knife in. Nothing's coming out. That means they're ready. What we're gonna do is off goes the heat. We're gonna drain the water off. We're gonna put the potatoes back in that pot. So potatoes back in. We need to mash them now. Now you can use one of these guys. You know, you put it in and squash it down. Or you can use like a more traditional type thing like that. I actually prefer this one. So we're gonna get in. We're gonna mash away for about three or four minutes. This is possibly one of my favorite foods is mashed potato. So you can't really over mash potatoes. You can just keep going, keep going. Well, at this stage, we're gonna put in butter. What we call a big knob of butter. So it was a heaped tablespoon there. Black pepper. We're gonna add some milk, but not yet. About another two or three minutes. Good exercise. Super fabulous. Right, little splash or two of milk. You don't wanna go crazy. Just like that. Now comes the old masher. Wooden spoon, and just work that in now. Now, you've got a nice, basic, beautiful mash here. Now, if you want, get some finely chopped onions in there, sweet corn in there, chopped parsley in there, fried small bacon bits in there. You can really play around with this. Now, I've probably got too much for what we want today, but you may have heard me say this before. Can you have too much mashed potato? Never. One, I eat loads of it. Two, I can use it for loads of different things like, you know, fish cakes or, you know, some nice kind of potato tickies. It never goes to waste. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so they've been out room temperature now for about 20 minutes. You can actually feel the difference in them already. Now what we're gonna do is gonna do some simple preparation for them. Now I've got some chopped garlic here, which I'm gonna put on roughly chopped. Now you can do this just with a whole clove if you want. And we're just gonna rub that in. Just get that all rubbed in there. And as we're rubbing it, it's actually gonna thin it out. You can see they're just getting a bit bigger just by rubbing. We're gonna turn them over. And we're gonna do the same on the other side. Like I say, you could just get a clove of garlic and just rub this on. I've just, I've got this garlic ready and I like to use this. Okay, next up, we're gonna get some uh, pepper, black pepper, ground. Gonna get that on both sides. We're gonna get some salt on there as well. And again, on both sides, I'll do that. I'm gonna rub that again. Then here I've got some olive oil. Just gonna give it a little dab here and there. And again on the other side. 
Now, if you want, to one of these, I'm going to add some cracked pepper. So I'm going to do one just like this, and then one with the coarse cracked pepper. Now what we want to do next is get our pan just really hot, just super, super hot. And then you can cook it how you want. You know, some people want it just rare. Some people want it well done. That's entirely up to you. But yeah, we've got one peppered one there, one regular, beautiful. Let's get to the cooker. Okay, so I've got a dry pan here or, you know, skillet, whatever you call that. Now this one is slightly ribbed. I don't know if you can see that it's got that pattern in it. I mean, that's neither here nor there, quite frankly. Now, get that really hot. That's nice and hot. We're going to drop in our steaks. Now, steaks are completely up to you. Some people, there's quite a bit of snobbery actually with it. It's like, oh, you have it well done. If you want it well done, have it well done. You know, some people say you have to have it medium or rare, whatever. You just do it exactly how you like. I'm going in. Now, I personally like a little bit of pink. I don't mind. My kids like it well done. Um, so I'm going to go for about, because they're not that thick, these ones. I'm going to go for about five, six minutes turning often. We're also going to tip it on its side and get that fat cooked as well. I'll show you that in a moment. But yeah, just keep flipping them. So with the sirloin, especially, you've got that fat there, you see, that layer of fat. What I like to do now is just hold it up and hold it on there like that and cook it, you know? Just a few minutes, just, you know, hold it up so you're actually cooking that fat. Very, very simple. Okay, off goes the heat. They're good for me. That's where I want my ones to be. Super, super happy. But what we're going to do is we're going to get them out and let them rest. So just take it out and let it rest on a board just for a few minutes and it will kind of just, you know, even out its juiciness. You'll see. Okay, so I just left that for five minutes or four or five minutes. Now, if I lift that up and there's no juice underneath, I'm going to look very stupid, aren't I? So we'll look. There you go. You see all that come out there? So look at this one. Yeah, beautiful. Now don't throw that juice away, by the way. Okay, should we, um, should we cut and see what we've got? A little bit of pink there. I'm super happy with that. Okay, I'm gonna slice this up and I'm gonna serve this on some mashed potato. Just cutting this at a slight angle. But yeah, that's just how I like it. Just a little bit of pink just in there. And like I say, the juice is underneath. Do not throw them away. That is beautiful, beautiful stuff. So I'm serving that with the mash, a little bit of chopped parsley on the top. Now, have we got any juice here? If we've got any juices, get it on the meat. Don't waste it. Don't waste it at all. Beautiful stuff. Okay, and there you go. Steak and mash, very simple but beautiful. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, check out the social media and all that other stuff that I have to say. We'll see you soon. Lots of love.